Hey everybody, Matt Johnson here. Decided to record a couple of examples of some five minute skull studies I decided to do. So first question I often get is why draw a skull? Why paint a skull? Why study a skull? And it's really important to understand the underpinnings of human anatomy, especially if you do a lot of portraits or characters. It's very helpful stuff. Um, Stan Prokopinko over on his channel, Proko, has done some great stuff with skulls and skull studies, and I definitely recommend you check that out. And actually, the skull that I used here to take these pictures for reference is a product by Stan and his team. So it's a really great little piece that it's only about maybe like four inches tall or something like that, and the jaw detaches as well. It's magnetic. It's really well put together. I highly recommend this if you uh, plan to do a lot of studies of skulls. It's pretty great stuff. And it has a little tripod mount on the bottom. I have a little $30 ring light that I use for uh, recording YouTube videos. And I just use that tripod for this and put it up against a gray wall and just use the natural ambient light from the window nearby. And it worked out great. So why do five minute studies? What's the point in uh, drawing anything in only five minutes? Uh, I think there's a lot to be gained from it actually, in my opinion. Uh, one of the greatest things that you gain from doing something in only five minutes is that you can quickly make iterations and you have you know more to learn from six short drawings than you do from one long drawing I think that's what you see happen here that I start to find out I have some issues with how I paint values and how I approach values and that is something that I might not have figured out if I took a painting all the way through the process I feel like a big challenge a lot of people have with creating artwork is being very results oriented and doing simple studies like this really helps you stay process oriented because the work that you create is not going to be great but you will have learned something you will have taken the journey in in that way and so I feel like there's a lot to be gained there as far as you're practicing uh, how to practice. You're really, you're getting better at just going to the gym and, you know, putting in a few reps. That's what this is all about. Um, that's another great reason for these to only be five minutes because you press yourself just like if you were lifting weights, let's say. Um, if you just lift the right amount of weight that you can lift all the time, uh, then you're never really going to improve your muscle structure. You're never going to build muscle. But if you push yourself and put yourself into a challenging situation uh, with something heavier, then you're going to gain muscle, uh, theoretically. I'm no nutritionist. But I think that's also true of doing these five-minute skull studies. Uh, if you press yourself to try to get something that you like looking at, you, you're not results motivated in any other way than the challenge and accepting the challenge. But if you do look back at that finished product and see that you've done something pretty good, that's great. And if you're struggling with it and it's pushing you further, then you're going to improve as an artist. So the first skull that I did was the most rough. The second one came out okay. Um, I think, like I said earlier, the biggest takeaway I had was pushing my values and working on precision. So my brush strokes are a little bit big, so all of my skulls came out a little bit chunky. Um, they didn't have any really sharp, satisfying edges that really make them look clean until maybe the very end when I went back and gave them an outline. And also, I didn't really get to really rich darks and really bright whites often enough, not nearly as often as the image itself in the time that was given. And, you know, I, I would have corrected all of this stuff if I had more time. Um, if I had spent an hour on these individually imagine how much more realistic and the proportions would be better um, but this way I got to do six of them and I saw repeated mistakes or a repeated trend in how I paint which I might not have noticed uh, by just doing one single long skull study so I almost stopped this video right there but then I thought it would be a really good idea to take what I learned from those six five-minute skull studies reflect on that for a day and come back with another 10 minute skull study thinking about those things that I know I got wrong the first time. I feel like the results of this were really productive. This was really good because I had in mind that I needed to push my values. I needed to be a little more precise with the brush using a smaller brush in particular. Since I knew I had a little bit more time, instead of blocking in big shapes and trying to cover a lot of territory, I tried to 
handle the proportions of the skull with a little loose uh, line drawing first and then blocked in the values a little more carefully uh, knowing that I was going to push the darks and push the white, uh, the light colors uh, a lot more in this one. So right away you start to see the results because the contrast is already there. So the dark, dark areas and the really light areas start to already read and I haven't even touched most of the skull. Something else that's really great about doing five and ten minute pieces or just really short pieces in general is that uh, the real beauty of what you leave out starts to shine through. Uh, to explain what I mean there, it's like if I wanted to show every little detail of the skull, it would be as good as looking at the photograph. Whereas when you create art, you're creating something that leaves out a lot of that realistic information. And so what comes through is your vision of what was important and what was beautiful about it. So you end up with something that's a lot more visually appealing than just the photograph when you work within these time constraints. I started getting a lot more precise by including some reflected light and trying to be really accurate with some of the smaller forms in the skull. So to quickly recap this video, I think iterations are important. It's more important to do short bursts of study instead of one long study. Do, do short studies of, of many different versions and angles and you're more likely to pick up on your patterns, both positive and negative. Also challenge yourself. Push yourself to create something good a little bit faster than you think you can, and your artistic muscles will grow because of it. Also, don't forget to reflect on what you've learned and what you've noticed about your artwork and think about it. And then the next time you sit down to create something, have those things in mind, and that will definitely improve your work. And if you like this video, I'll be posting more videos like it in the future. Please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and uh, subscribe for more. Thank you. Bye.